All right, we want to do a quick overview of Git, which is a, uh, a version control system. Why do we care about it? Well, uh, programmers definitely would want to care about version control. It allows them to track any changes that they've made in their code base. IT people, very, very important to keep track of anything that you make, any changes that you make in a particular directory, files that you change, configuration files, batch scripts, shell scripts, um, Ansible, anyway, tons of different things you could keep track of uh, that you want to track any changes that are made. Uh, it makes it very easy to roll back to an earlier version. If you've broken something, you need to go back. It allows you to figure out who made the changes and assign uh, fault or blame to whoever broke something, maybe. Uh, it's very easy to introduce new features. And this is just a brief overview of the topic. So a couple concepts we need to understand first. First of all, we have what's called the working directory. That's the directory that you're in creating files. You've CD'd to, you've, uh, you've added files to, you're working on files in that directory. That's the working directory. A staging area for Git is where you put files after working on them. Um, and it's, it's just a location, we'll say right now in memory, where you're gonna put the files after you're done working on them. Keep that in mind. Then we have what's called a local repository. Items from the staging area will go here when you are sure you're ready for the change to be made. Uh, and then the remote repository, you can push changes in your local repository to the remote repository when you're ready for others to see them. So here's some basic commands. And this is a whirlwind overview. There are certainly uh, a million tutorials on the internet to introduce these concepts. Um, but I'll introduce some of these basics. So the git init command will initialize a bare repository, an empty repository, that you could then add files to. Um, and then using the git add command will allow you to add files to the staging area, as you recall a second ago from your working directory. When you're done working on a file, you can put it in the staging area. The git commit command will allow you to take files from the staging area and add it to your local repo. But remember still, at that point, it's still not synchronized with the remote repository. So then you'll have to do a git push to uh, make those changes available to the remote repository. Um, the git pull command, assuming someone else has made a change in the remote repository and you need to see their changes, you can do a git pull and it would synchronize your uh, local repository with that remote one. A git clone is generally this is what you do is when you start, when, when someone says, hey, I have a repository you need to take a look at, you could then clone their repository, which essentially copies their remote repository to your local machine to make it local so you can then work on it. Some other quick commands, git status will show your current status of your git repo and git log could be useful to see what changes have been made and there's a lot more commands about git but this will give you a um, get you started and get your feet wet and then you can go from there. Now <clears throat> github is a web uh, a cloud-based provider that allows you to store your remote Git repository there. So that, and then you can give this, you know, credentials or access to anyone else in the world that you want to have access to your Git repository. And they can also make changes and publish those changes to the repository. So that's what we're going to use is GitHub. Finally, um, there's two files you might want to might want to be aware of. The .gitignore file can be placed inside of your local repository to have it ignore certain files. Maybe I don't want it to to track changes of, of certain files that might be in that repo. Uh, and then there's a .git slash config that would store configuration information about your repo. Uh, and there's some other files and, and stuff as well in there, but these are the most important ones that we care about for now. Next video, I'll do a demo of this.